all right guys welcome back to full circle with joyce and uh, we continue with the show right now touching on some of the latest fashion tips and trends and with me here is alan the dapper a celebrity stylist and fashion designer all right uh karibu sana to the show now you actually your clothing line or clothing wear uh store business is called fala wear yeah it has a meaning behind it okay which is fashionable african latest attire Okay, fashionable yeah. African, African latest attire. Latest attire. And it's yeah. a play on obviously the word that we all know. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> very interesting. And your look is quite interesting. Thank you. Ini nah, gazeti umevaba. Nah, it's not a gazeti, it's a cotton material. Cotton material, yeah, but obviously material. with like a magazine print Theme, yeah. on it. And then you even wrapped your head. Yeah, it's a scarf. Uh -huh. It's usually trending, this one. This is? Yeah. For both men and women, or is it, is it like a male yeah, statement now? Yeah, for both men now? and women. It's unisex. Unisex. Mm -hmm. Okay, plus the hat. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you have to be pretty confident, though, to rock a look like this. That's one. the one thing I have to be every time. When Do I you get up. stares a lot when you walk around town? Yeah. Like, every time. People yeah. are, are you serious? You're walking like that? <laughs> yeah, they're usually shocked, like, are you serious? So I have to be confident. So how would you describe your fashion style? Okay. My style, as I know, as a designer, a style is a... Uh, is a personality so your personality describes your style mm -hmm. so mine i can say it's trendy forward i'm okay. usually just keeping in the trend i'm always forward That's okay it. yeah um a lot of people then talk about style versus trends and mm -hmm. fashion um and a lot of people i guess would opt to be more stylish which may not necessarily mean that you're on trend mm -hmm. right but still you know up to date or still look nice um this would definitely be a trend right because yeah. it's not very common to see this so how how do you strike that balance for yourself or for your clients okay usually what i usually tell my clients is if you want to come in in this fashion industry stop trying to be someone else because uh, there's a trend actually trending right now and People are wearing the drugs, you know, the drugs, the 80s thing. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, the sneakers. So, what I usually tell them is try to be yourself. Yeah. Try to bring up something new. Yeah. So, you can set the trend. Yeah. You don't have to be the, in the trend because you won't stand out. Trust yeah. me. You won't stand out. So, Imagine you, your you goal is to stand out. Yeah. So, utenda kanisa nivi. Yeah, but I love to move my head when people yes. are praying. At least <laughs> out of respect. Yeah. <laughs> well done. No, kenda home. Your family, I'm mother, okay. Labda Kani, mother. Okay, at first my dad was, was kind of, what are you doing, you know? But I was like, this is what I like. You get, this is what I like. So I had to, I had to make him believe in me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're not going to remove your hat for us to see? No. You want to m me to remove my hat? We just want to see your face, Vizuri. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a private part. Okay. Now, since I hear scarf, you you feel it completes the look. You wouldn't, but you can also yeah, can, wear it I without the, the the. I can wear it without the hat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, how then did you get into? Feel free to put on your hat if you're more comfortable. Thank you. How how then did you um, get into design and clothing, fashion wear? Uh, it was uh, 2015 when I started my my brand. Okay. I was 19. Okay. And uh, that's when I, I noticed I can, I can dress. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm good at. So. Do your friends dress like you? Yeah, 90% of my friends. You have okay. to look like me so that you can work with me. Eh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> not for me, for their purposes, not mine. Because yeah. you feel like, am I a shadow in this guy? <laughs> you will feel just uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I understand we have some images um, to see... Is it some of your designs or just, I guess, some of the styling maybe that you've done? So let's have those roll in. All right. So let's take a look at this. This is you. Yeah, that's me. That's a pink suit. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty good, though. Thank you. But, you know, some of these things people say it looks nice for the pictures, for the editorials, because, you know, there's filters that are added. There's, no there's all there. sorts of shading. I mean, obviously, <laughs> this plays on lights, yeah. like the shadows and whatnot. I mean, so do you... When does a look become just for editorial versus streetwear? Okay, what I usually tell my photographer mm -hmm. is to make sure he leaves the 
imaged as the way people might see it face to face. Mm -hmm. So that can get the confusion in the clients. You can okay. imagine seeing pink and then when you come, it's like yeah. super white pink. So yeah, yeah. Confusion, yeah. I mean, I've definitely, I, I like, I've seen the pink blazer look. Um, wearing pink all through though, that's, that's different. I mean, again, very bold. Yeah, yeah especially because... I'm, I'm a male. So and you're a male. Imagine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because pink obviously is, you know, for most people is a very feminine color. Mm -hmm. But uh, that looks cool. Let's take a look at some other images here. Tell me about this one. It's color blocking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I was trying to this was uh, you don't have to be white or you don't have to be black so that you can you can go you can go look in your clothes. So I was trying to color block the colors in. Okay. So I had to look for like a white person so that you can <laughs> bring it bring it out you looked for her where yeah she's a she's a she's also a model okay on instagram she's okay. called flamingo okay yeah. um so do you usually make all of these outfits yeah all of my outfits are from scratch okay yeah all right let's see what else we have tell me about this one it's an urban streetwear mm -hmm. so i was trying to target the the youth guys yeah because i'm so sure they can't wear the way i'm wearing right now yeah. To be like, oh, see, I look like an old man now. <laughs> I can't even get a woman like this. So I had to look for a look so that they can be suitable. Speaking of, do you find, do you think girls find this attractive? Do you find this attractive? For, <laughs> for me? No. I like okay. my men in more, you know, dapper. <laughs> I'm not looking dapper. It's not my taste. No, okay. Yeah, so for me, no. Um, I think it's definitely a, a statement. Mm -hmm. So I guess it just depends though on who on who you're targeting, right? Okay, actually, it mm -hmm. depends. I can't approach a woman like this. Yeah? This I can approach an artist like this because I'll sell it. Sure. But when I'm going to a woman, I won't, this is too much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it depends on who I'm approaching, actually. Okay, yeah, that's very true. Mm -hmm. And that's a good point, too. So that when you're thinking about fashion, it's not that just because you saw it on a runway that you, you can wear it anywhere. Like, like you have to also functional. think through, right? Yeah. Good point, good point. Um, let's talk then about African prints and Ankara designs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if young men are embracing this anymore. I think our parents made it look, you have to wear Ankara if you're, you're, you're an old person, you get. Mm -hmm. But there's a way you can, you can wear Ankara, you can look good. But always try to never wear Ankara Juchini. With the Chuchini. shoes there, those people who wear the shoes, the Ankara, and the trousers, Ankara, you know, <laughs> even the hat, they'll put the Ankara here. That's too much. Okay. You're making Ankara look bad, actually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, how, how is it then setting up your business? What is your business? Is it to tailor for people? Is it to style them? It's a mix of all. Well, I used to tail until there's a point you just rise and then you leave some other people to do that okay but i'm not that good at tailing so i usually now usually just style and do the designs okay yeah okay and how has been your business then uh it's been a rough kind of rude yeah actually i'm so thankful for like three people okay. my family a guy called david wondere he's also a stylist and uh, my photographer okay because without him i couldn't even people wouldn't even notice me yeah. yeah what do you think has been the toughest thing about doing business i think people judge with the age it's mm -hmm. like the way i've told you if i approach you without beards you'll think i'm young so you get so when you approach someone before you make them conf like make them so comfortable that you can make a co outfit for them and you get young it's, it's really tough yeah it's really tough that's the toughest thing i had okay yeah yeah um so I I as you look at your career then what 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 do you want to do like what what is what is your goal especially as you go into the new year what are some of the things you're hoping to achieve well one i wanted to do a project where i can like bring out the the little designers who people can't see mm -hmm. the mini designers down there which people can't see. I'm I'm really trying to raise them up. So that's why this year I'm trying to do collabs with with the the lowest designer, you know. So that's I can try to to like uplift them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um you know maybe part of what, part of the challenge could just be this cuz the style is different, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I think it would take a bit more time to build the market and the appetite. I think Kenyans are pretty conservative in their dressing anyways. So 
you certainly do have a bit of an uphill task, like trying to conform that <coughs> mindset, right? That would be really tough. I think what I've noticed in Kenyan styles, mm -hmm. they look upon celebrities. Trust yeah. me. If, let me, who's a famous celebrity people like? Like Migos. If Migos just wear the way I'm wearing, that's the thing people will wear. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. So that's the toughest thing. Yeah. To change, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's still a journey ahead of you, but you yeah. know, such is life. Mm -hmm. And I guess if you're persistent and passionate about it enough, like you will, you'll get to where you want to go. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So how can people follow your work? Maybe there's someone who's watching who wants to um, rock some of the designs we're seeing you uh, wear. So how can they find you? Okay. You can find me on Instagram at Al in the Dapper or Al or Follower mm -hmm. or Twitter at Follower or Facebook at Follower. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. I've been talking to Alan the Dapper, a stylist and fashion designer behind Fala Wear, which is fashion. Fashionable. Fashionable. African. African. Latest. Latest. Attire. Attire. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We need to take a short break now as we get ready for our final segment for the day. We're going to be talking about some 100% natural handcrafted products. This is Full Circle with Joyce. Stay tuned.